Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I have a video to share with you that I posted over on the Spellbinders YouTube channel. This uses the new Kindness Matters kit, so I hope you enjoy watching. Hello there, Michelle Short here and welcome to the Spellbinders and Fun Stampers Journey launch party. I'm delighted to be sharing three clean and simple cards with you today using the new Kindness Matters kit. So I'm starting off by creating this first card here. I have taken a piece of colour splash watercolour paper and I'm going to be stamping the Folk Blossom stamp set onto this. This is a really pretty small background stamp and I'm going to be using it as a focal point of my card. So I've taken some clear pigment ink and I'm just inking up this stamp really well. And then I'm going to prep my cardstock with an anti-static powder tool and I'm going to press this into the stamp. Quite often if I have detailed images like this, more of a background stamp, I like to bring the cardstock to the stamp and that way I can press down and make sure that I get all of the nooks and crannies of the stamp set and get a really nice impression. So once that's stamped I'm going to apply some white embossing powder. I'm just applying that embossing powder and tapping off the excess. I do that a couple of times just to make sure that I get a really nice coverage and then I can heat set that until it's completely melted. To add colour onto my background, I'm going to be using mermaid markers. So I've taken three shades of mermaid markers that I think would work nicely together. This first colour here is the Byron Bay. It's a really pretty aquary turquoise colour. So I'm just making sure to press down on that pen just to get the ink flowing. And then I can add that onto my panel here. Next, I'm going to go in with the blue bottle colour. And this is a really pretty bl bright blue. I'm just making sure to go in and try and blend those colours as best as possible together. If I have any excess ink from a different colour on the top of the brush, I can just wipe that away. And at the bottom, I'm going to go in with the jellyfish colour, and this is a really pretty purple shade. And again, I'm just going to try and blend that as best as I can, and then I can set that aside to dry. Next I'm going to work on my sentiment, so I'm taking this Kindness is Cool sentiment from the Kindness is Cool stamp set which comes in the kit. I'm prepping a piece of licorice black cardstock with an anti-static powder tool and then I can ink up that sentiment using the clear pigment ink and stamp that down. I'm going to add some white embossing powder onto that. I really love the look of white against the black cardstock. If I get any excess powder where I don't want it, I can just use the tool and one just to remove that. And then I can heat set that until it's completely melted. My background piece has had time to dry a little, so I'm taking a cloth here and I'm just using that to remove the excess ink that's on top of the embossing powder. And then I'm going to cut that down into a panel and I'm going to add it to an A2 sized white card base. That's a finished size of four and a quarter by five and a half and I've added that with some foam tape. I did end up adding that upside down. I meant to do that. I thought the colours looked nice either way, but I thought it was quite nice in this colour order. And then I'm just going to add my sentiment on top, again using some foam tape. And then I'm taking the splash sequins, these are the splash zone sequins, and I'm going to add a few of those onto the card. So I've added some dabs of liquid glue, and I'm just using my tweezers here to keep those in place. I just thought it would add a little bit of shine onto the card, and that's the first card finished. Moving on to the second card, I'm going to stamp the cake from the Sweet Birthday Wishes stamp set onto some vellum and I love this set because you can mix and match the different elements of the cake to your heart's content. So I'm going to start off by stamping the stand for the cake. I'm going to use some clear pigment ink for this. I'm just going to ink that up and stamp that onto the vellum. And then I'm going to apply some rose gold embossing powder. I'm just going to apply the embossing powder and then I can tap off the excess and then I can heat set that. And then I'm going to take a bit of masking paper 
and I'm just going to place that over the top of the stand. I can still see where I need to stamp the actual cake layer, but it does help to not have the images overlap too much in case you don't get them stamped perfectly. So I've added embossing powder to that and heat set that again. And next I'm just going to move that masking tape up a bit further to the top of the cake and then I can stamp the candles on the top. What I really love about these images are they're quite quirky so it doesn't matter too much if you don't get them lined up perfectly. I think the rose gold embossing powder works really nicely on that vellum. Next I'm going to emboss the stencil that comes in the kit. This is the cane weave stencil and I'm going to emboss it onto some whipped cream cardstock. I thought it would be really nice as a background for my image. So I'm just making sure to line that up where I want it to be so that the lines of the stencil are fairly even and straight. I've taken the platform at the bottom and then I have the embossing pad on top. Then I've got my cardstock, the stencil, I'm placing a piece of scrap paper over the top of that. And then I have the embossing plate on top. And then I'm going to run that through the Platinum 6. And when it gets to the other end, it's going to have some really nice embossing on that panel. And I think it works really nicely for clean and simple cards because it just adds a little bit more detail to the card. I apologise that it is quite difficult here to see on camera because it's white on white, but in real life it looks really pretty. I'm then just going to adhere that panel onto an A2 sized white card base and I have added some black licorice cardstock on top of that. And then I'm just using the tape runner here just to add the adhesive on the back of the embossed panel and then I can stick that down onto the card. I have fussy cut the cake out using scissors. And then I have also embossed the sentiment that says let's celebrate from the sweet birthday wishes stamp set. And I stamped that onto some more black licorice cardstock and heat embossed that with the rose gold embossing powder. This sentiment is going to be placed over the middle of the cake. It does cut out some of the cake image, which is a shame, but it's a really good way of being able to adhere vellum onto a card because you can hide the adhesive behind that sentiment strip. So I'm just using some foam squares here to stick the sentiment strip on top of the cake. And then I can add some tape runner behind where that sentiment strip is and you're not going to be able to see that on the finished card. And then I'm just going to take some tiny dabs of liquid glue and just add that to the flames of the candle and a little bit at the bottom of the stand just to make sure that that lays flat. And that's the second card finished. It is a bit difficult to see the embossing on camera, but in real life it's very, very pretty and I think it just adds something a bit extra to a clean and simple card. So let's move on to card number three. And this is a really bright and happy card. So I'm starting off by taking the sunflower image from the Kindness is Cool stamp set. I'm going to stamp the image using Cave Black Squid Ink and I'm stamping that onto some whipped cream cardstock. So just making sure to ink that up really well and then I can press that down onto the cardstock. And I did forget to stamp out the middle portion of the sunflower. So I do go back and add that in before I colour in the image. So to colour in the image I'm using the Journey Colour Burst pencils and I'm going to start off with the middle portion of the sunflower here. So I'm using my lightest shade of browns for this and this is the 039 Hazelnut Blend colour. And then I'm going in with the darkest shade and this is the 042 Black Licorice and I'm adding some darkness around the outside of that circle middle piece and then a bit more towards the bottom left hand side. Then I can go in with my mid-tone shade which is the 041 and this is the cocoa powder colour. 
and I'm just going over the dark color that I've just added on that black licorice and moving the color around and then I can go back in for my final layer with the 039 again and just blend that out completely Next, I'm colouring in the stem of the flower using two green colours, 021 and 022. At this point, the sun decided to make an appearance, so I apologise that it gets a little bit bright in areas. But it's nice to have the sun come out when you're colouring a sunflower. Next, I'm going to colour in the petals of the flower. And for this, I'm using the 016, and this is the lemon drop colour. Spellbinders and Fun Stampers Journey will be releasing new products on the 10th of every month so there will be lots of video tutorials like the one I'm showing you today and also lots of inspiration over on the blog. Next I'm going in with my darkest shade and this is the 015 and this is the Summer Days colour and I'm just adding that where the petals meet the inside of the flower just to add some darkness and then I can go in with the mid-tone shade and that is the 011 and that's the orange creamsicle colour and then I can go back over the entire lot of petals with the lightest colour which was the 016 lemon drop and that just blends all of the colours together and then I'm going to fussy cut that image out with scissors Next, I've taken a piece of paper from the Journey Basics Brights paper pad and I'm going to add that onto an A2 sized white card base and I'm just using some tape runner for that. Just pressing that down. And then I've cut a tag from whipped cream cardstock using the Fun Stampers Journey Tag Steel Rule die set and I'm using the middle size of those tags. I thought it'd be quite nice to use that as a focal point to add my flower on top. And I'm taking some black twine here and I'm going to tie that in a bow at the top of the tag. This kit also comes with four pre-kitted design projects along with instructions and supply lists. So this means that you can start creating straight away as soon as you get the kit. But be sure to check out the Spellbinders blog for lots of other inspiration using the kit. So I'm just tying that bow there, fussing with that a little bit. Once I'm happy I can cut off the ends of the twine and then I can adhere that onto my card base using some tape runner. So I'm just placing that down into the bottom right hand corner. And then I have heat embossed the Smile Sentiment from the Kindness is Cool stamp set onto some more black licorice cardstock. I have cut that down into a strip and I can add some more tape runner adhesive onto the back of that and stick that down over the tag. And then I'm going to use some foam squares to adhere my flower onto the tag. And then I can use some tweezers to help me place that down onto the card. Like I said, I think this is a really nice bright and happy card. For more inspiration using the kit, please head over to the Spellbinders blog and YouTube channel. Links to the products that I used will be in the description bar on YouTube and also over on my blog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.